black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Any lot lizards around here? Up in the prax there? Maybe <laughs> somebody getting topped off by a lizard? Anybody know about lot lizards? <laughs> Any truckers in my audience? They must know about lot lizards. It's a prostitute that hangs out at, uh, you know, big rig parking lots. <laughs> All right, yo, just a little quick one for you today. Out and about doing errands at uh, Canadian Tire, AKA Crafty Tire. For those in my audience who aren't Canadians and don't shop there, it's basically like Lowe's or uh, Home Hardware Depot, whatever you got down there. I know you guys got some different things, but outside of it, they have a shack set up like uh, 11 to five. And I think they go pretty much all winter. It's all enclosed, but anyways, they slang street meats, Italian sausages, and hot dogs. Simple menu, we got like three different things, pop, chips, what have you. And uh, the smell that permeates off that place is hard to deny. So I was coming out, I was like, damn, that smells good, that looks good. I could definitely go for a sausage and a hot dog, which I got a mild sausage and a hot dog. And uh, keep it cheap too, it's like, it's this was like, four bucks for like each and then sorry five bucks for this four bucks for the hot dog and then a pop but it all came to like eleven dollars so good uh they have as you can see hot peppers sauerkraut mustard ketchup and relish and those are the five ingredients that, oh and onions so those are the ingredients that they have and that's it so i'm definitely gonna start with this mild sausage very good I can't hack spicy sausages mm. Mm -hmm. too much heartburn although these peppers aren't gonna help that I can promise that but yeah, a lot of lizards. <laughs> it's just because over in this side of the parking lot, there's all these like big rigs parked here. Um, I went through a time in my YouTube journey of rabbit holes where I got obsessed. <laughs> No, no word of lie, I got obsessed with uh, trucking channels. What's going on here? And low key, that's the most that's the craziest thing about YouTube is there's literally, if you if you search it or stumble across it, there's a genre for literally everything. So I got deep into this trucking channel thing, and there's this one guy in particular named Trucker Brown. <laughs> And uh, I think he's in his like mid to late thirties, black dude. I got so addicted to his content, like learning about trucking, learning about how the how the loads work, and like how you get paid. You know tips on tricks and, and like how to drive big trucks man these are good and then there's a whole community and they do live streams <laughs> together from their trucks 
and they all vape. But that's where I learned. The term lot lizard. Basically only fans for the truck stop, you know? Real life only fans for the truck stop. Cool off the mouth with this diet. Peps. Up next, the dog. I'm more excited for this. That's why I saved it for a second. I do like sausage or hot dogs more than sausages. Sausages are good from time to time, but a hot dog for me just always hits. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Glad I saved this for a second. <clears throat> but yeah, weirdly, <laughs> when I got into this, this truck channel on YouTube, I was like all inspired and I was like looking into like getting a CDL. <laughs> and, uh, because I was all like depressed and didn't know what to do with my life. <laughs> and I was just like, that seems like a not bad, like a pretty, like for me at least, a very solo career where like, you're pretty much alone. You can just listen to podcasts and music. Haul the load. Travel the country. in Canada through harsh conditions a lot of time, which is sketch. And, you know, spend most of your time just like looking at nothing really. But, you know, you got your bed in the back, you got like your TV and your hookup and you're like, whatever, your, your game station. I can make like a little studio, make music and shit, do these videos, live stream, like do YouTube and drive a truck. <laughs> Cause there's something so appealing to me about a career where like you minimize uh, like dealing with a lot of people, both coworkers, general public, things like that. But for the most part, you do your own thing. Of course, there's always going to be some sort of headache and bullshit that you're going to run into. Like, that's called working jobs, but I legit was like, that seems like a plausible option. <laughs> The only thing about it is I understand how truckers would gain a lot of weight. You'd really have to watch how you eat, like, just, or like, be on that one meal a day, <clears throat> do some laps in the parking lot when you're trying to 
get some sleep, but I don't think you'd even have time for that. I think you gotta haul hard, fall asleep for X amount of time and get back to it. So I don't know, are there any truckers in my audience? I'm sure it's a uh, definitely a interesting slash hard, you know, isolating life, but I already have a very isolated life and don't we all? I'm sure the time frames and the loads and there's like certain stresses involved and, and even just sleeping in a parking lot, like in like sketchy parts of the world, like it, or just in, in the country and just, I don't know, just like seedy parking lots. I feel like I would definitely have a gun. I don't know <laughs> if you would be allowed in Canada, but if I was in America, I would 100% be sleeping with a Nina tucked under the pillow, the cold side of the pillow, <laughs> ready to pop anybody who tried to come at me. For sure. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that impromptu uh, hot dog sausages and my dreams of trucking video. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.